Okay, in this question we're asked to solve these two equations simultaneously by using the method of substitution. The first thing we want to do is label the equations 1 and 2. So this is going to be equation 1 and this is going to be equation 2. Now what you're looking for is an equation that is equal to a letter and we're going to sub that in the other one. So here in equation 2 we've got y is equal to x minus 6. So we're going to sub equation 2 into equation 1. So we write equation 1 down, so 2x plus 1 plus, now we would write y, however we understand that y is equal to x minus 6. So we're going to put equation 2 into 1 in place of y. So we're going to have x minus 6 there and that whole thing equals 5. Now we need to simplify this down and solve for x. So the first thing we need to do is get rid of these brackets. So we multiply the 2 in, so 2x and 2 and x minus 6 is 5. Now we want to bring our like terms together. So we've got 2x and x is 3x plus 2 and minus 6 is minus 4 and that's equal to 5. Now we want to move all of this over to the other side, leaving x here. So we're going to move the minus 4 over, so we'll have 5 plus 4. Remember, it's opposites on the other side. And we want to move the times 3 over, so we're going to divide all of that by 3. So we end up with an answer of x equals 3. Now that we know x equals 3, we can use one of the equations above to find out what y equals. Now the easiest one to do that in is equation 2. So our next step is to sub x equals 3 into equation 2. So y is equal to, now it's x takes 6, but we already know what x is, it's 3. So 3 takes 6, so y will be equal to negative 3. So our solution on a graph would be the point 3 negative 3. Now we need to do a check of this to make sure that we've got the math right and we're going to check in equation 1. Because we used equation 2 up here we don't want to use that to perform the check because obviously it would be right. So in equation 1 we're going to change the x and the y to suit our solutions. So we have 2 bracket now it's x which is 3 plus 1 plus y which is minus 3 and that equals 5. So we want to check that this equals 5. So we've got in here 4 and we've got 2 times 4 that's 8 plus minus 3 is 5. 8 take 3 is 5 and that equals 5. So we know that this solution is the actual solution for this problem. Thanks for watching.